Hi guys, it's Lenora. Welcome back to the channel. And I'm so excited today because do you see who I am? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Finally, this is happening. Okay, so we, me and Joanna, with the, the YouTube queen, okay, she and I are doing a collaboration for meal prepping. This meal prep video is meant especially for those who want to bulk up but still stay lean. And the first few videos were together with Joanna, Monday mm -hmm. to Wednesday. And now it's from my part, Thursday to Saturday. This is totally Lenora style cooking, right? Where it's very, very lazy. <laughs> it's for those who want complete convenience because we don't have time, right? No, Joanna? we just want things easy, quick, delicious, healthy straight into our tummy. Exactly. First thing we're going to make is mashed eggs together with rice cakes. That's for breakfast. And then we're going to move on to lunch, which is baked chicken thigh together with potatoes, capsicum and broccoli. And then the final one is my version of a burrito or a kebab. It's just minced beef with a tortilla and your veggies. That's it. So that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I mean, like, okay. I just want to eat. That's it. <laughs> Anybody who knows me, I just want to eat good, mm -hmm. nutritious food. That's it. The ingredients are very simple and they've already been prepared for three servings eggs, rice cake, mustard, cinnamon, chia seeds, and any kind of herbs that you like for taste. All right, time to cook. I'm yeah, going to go with breakfast. Joanna, you ready to like... Yes, uh, chop, chop, chop. Okay. So usually <laughs> what I do to portion out everything really quick, because remember, we just want to be convenient. I am going to take the eggs. I'm going to take four eggs into this container. This is an easy way for you to portion out if you're concerned with how much you're going to be eating. And then I'm just going to mesh it all together. You can either use a fork if you don't have, what do you call this? Um, a mesher. A mesher. Ma it a is a potato mesher. A potato mesher. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's not going to be an egg mesher like, My mom likes to say that I'm a clueless cook in the, in the kitchen. So I got one egg done and now I'm just going to mesh the rest of the other eggs. All right. Garlic time. I got a great tip on how to mince up the garlic. So this is what my sister does. Can I show you? Sure. All right. So she, I mean, it's either you can take the knife. Uh huh. I hope this works. Okay. You take your hand. Just done. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. So, see, it's so oh much my easier, gosh. right? This is so cool. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's like every time you're stressed out. Garlic. Garlic. <laughs> These eggs, I am going to now get my sea salt mm -hmm. and black pepper and just sprinkle, sprinkle inside. Do not be afraid to taste, make your food tasty. That's what I would say. I mean, the thing with using herbs and spices is that it's so healthy mm. and there's barely any calories in it. Yeah, no yeah. calories at all. Which uh, is why I'm glad over here we are using um, we are using spices that are just condiments that are just like this. Yeah. Because as much as I like the stuff on the shelves, I mean, I love those things on the shelves. Like, it's so much fun when you're at the grocery store. But sometimes they have additional ingredients in there which you don't need. Like some of it, they have vegetable oil inside or, ah. or they got cornstarch. And I was so upset! So remember always to read the ingredients, read the labels for anything that you buy. Now, Joanna, I give you the honor of, of mixing. mixing! The fun part. Fun part. Here, take some mustard. Mm -hmm. All right. And I'm also going to take some mustard and mesh it all together. So, for the final touch, so just sprinkling the chia seed mm -hmm. over and onto that one. Now, here's the great part. You can either eat this entire dish by itself if you really don't have time, but because you want to bulk up, have it together with the rice cakes. That's why I have this over here. So we're not going to be doing, we're not going to be putting it on. Um, this is literally how it's going to look when you take it out. So you'll pack this in Ziploc bags when you travel or into another container. Gosh, okay. I want to eat that right now. I know. I want that. <laughs> okay, we are pretty much done with breakfast. Let's move on to lunch. Right. What should I do for lunch? Okay, you lunch. You gotta get my hands yes, dirty. Yes, you gotta get your hands dirty. Yes, 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 yes. Let me just move this all. These hands are clean. To one side. I've washed them. So I'm gonna pop these into the fridge first. 
Eggs are now in the fridge. Let's work on lunch, Joanna. Okay, I'm ready to get my hands dirty. For lunch, this is all you need. Three chicken thighs, broccoli, capsicum, potato, black pepper, mixed herbs, and some olive oil. So you are gonna put the chicken okay. all onto the baking tray. And this is what I usually do when it comes to like really, really cleaning simply is use aluminium foil and once mm -hmm. you're done you just throw it away and that's it you just you just need to wash this See? am i supposed to put everything just in? put everything in all the potatoes this is called the lazy way of cooking it's the best way actually i know everything you cooking. have your carbs you have your vegetables your protein one of the great things about baking food is together with your meat and veggies the juices from your meats will flow out to to everything. Okay, just mm -hmm. look at that color already. I'm, lo I'm loving it. I love this. So once again, you can either use olive oil or coconut oil. You can even use ghee. Entirely up to you what you want to cook your food with. And now we've got our mixed herbs, which I'm going to sprinkle. Massaging the chicken. Massage that chicken. Massage that chicken. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. Okay. Turn it around, give it some love on one side and the other side. Like really Ooh. rub it in. While this is happening, make sure that your oven has been set to 180 degrees. And this goes in. The baked chicken with the veggies are now in the oven. Make sure you've already set to 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. And for this one, leave it in there for about half an hour. If you're not too sure, you don't want to overcook it, just for me, pop open the oven and just take a slice into your chicken and see whether it's cooked all the way. If you see your meat is not pink anymore and it pulls away neatly, then you know it's fully cooked. Time for dinner, dinner. Joanna. Because we got a lot of waiting time. Yeah. You've got minced beef, garlic, broccoli, capsicum, sea salt, black pepper, and of course your tortillas. Pan is already hot. Now you take your oil, just pour it in. Okay. And the garlic That's that she nicely garlic. diced up, you just sprinkle inside. And this is the part that is awesome. Oh, the smell. I know. Now, now I like it. Yeah, now you like <laughs> now it. Now I like it. Oh, Not that's, when it's raw. That's beautiful. Just cook the thing until it's just a little bit brown. Is it the beef now to go in? Yes, now in goes the beef. The, the, <laughs> the beef all the way in. See, this is the beauty of cooking minced meat or just mincing your meat. They cook so fast and it saves up on time in the kitchen. All okay. right. All right. Shall I pour yep. it in? Okay. Very nice and ready. Beautiful. So simple, isn't it? Garlic, beef, and spices. Yep. That's it. Did it. Did it. So cooking is not difficult. Anybody can cook. In my opinion, it's very easy to cook. I would just throw in the vegetables in. Just mix it up. And usually what I do is I get a cover, I put it on top and just let it cook by itself. Okay. Yep. All right, you can do the fun part now. What is the fun part? The fun part is wrapping stuff. Wrapping. Okay. Bam. So this would not take very long. So we just make sure that you keep your eyes on it. So get your tortillas, put as much meat as you want inside. The problem is that we tend to be really greedy. Oh, yes. <laughs> and in the end, we can't wrap it properly. Option, okay? See? Other than having this on the side, if you have sliced up your capsicums into thin slices like how Joanna has done so already, I like it in it. You can put it inside. So tell you what, Joanna, do, would you like to put some cap capsicum? Yeah, why not? Some capsicum inside? Yes, please. Okay. Which one? You want red, yellow? Boom. Okay. I'll give you a nice, very long one so you can arrange it. Now the rest of it, if you don't want it in your wrap, you can just have it on the side later on when you pack it up. Oh, look at that. Look like a at pro. that. My burrito. Oh, that's <laughs> With awesome. the rice. I know. <laughs> it's open though, but it's all right. Just pretend. It's perfect. It's perfect. To me, it's perfect there you go. already. Oh, look at that. 
go to the camera, go to the camera, go to the camera. Ooh. Okay, now come back, come back. <laughs> now two more to go. Two more to go. Look at how high that is. Mm -hmm. You can do it, Joanna. You can do it. Sound effect for epic music coming in. Oh my in. gosh. Huh? And you don't get this kind of serving in restaurants. All right, Joanna, this is all you. This is all you. You can Ouch. do this. Pause for effect on slow motion and epic music. She is rapping and rolling. <laughs> Roll it. Roll it. You can do it, Joanna. It is happening. It is going to stay together. It is done. <laughs> there you go. The I, biggest. I pulled, I pulled a muscle. <laughs> beef. Burrito wrap ever. Nice. That this is great. about what? 100 grams of beef inside. 100 grams. Two meals are done, Joanna. Yes. Time to check on the chicken, which I should done. be done. Because I can smell it. Okay. Oh. There we go. Pasting. Oh. Is it done? Yeah, yes. it, that looks done. It looks beautiful. Perfect. Yes. Okay. All right. Time right, the fun her. time! Okay, I got my thongs, she's got her hands. Yes, I'm going to portion dinner out while I do lunch. And then we've got the chicken in. Just take a certain amount that you wish for your veggies and potatoes. Again, if you want to have more vegetables, feel free to cook more vegetables. Emphasis, just yeah. put more vegetables. Just, yeah. <laughs> and any types of vegetables as well. Yeah. Ta-da! This looks beautiful, yeah. girlfriend. We've got breakfast ready, lunch, lunch. is done, and dinner is dinner. done in less than an hour. Yeah. Can All less than, less than an hour. An hour yeah. Mm -hmm. Great job. So here we got our mashed eggs together with mustard, chia seed, and then in the morning what I do because it's up to you how many rice cakes you want to pack and whether it, whether it fits into your macronutrient breakdown. I just take this in the morning and put some on top. I'm not going to do it now, but that's pretty much how I eat my breakfast. And for lunch, it's ready. Baked yeah. chicken thigh together with veg. And like Joanna was saying, what were we saying about the vegetables? I mean, just have it as much as you want. Yeah. Really, yeah. Yeah. Just pack more vegetables top it up in, and top it up. And now let's talk about the one that she made. Beef burrito. <laughs> so easy. And in fact, I like to have this for lunch as well. Yeah. It's so easy to eat and you can bring it to work. There's no reason like, oh, I can't bring this to work. It's too complicated. No. Nah, nah, nah. In, you can, sorry, you were saying? No, you can have this even um, chilled. It doesn't always have to be hot. Yes. That makes time even, that makes it more convenient for your lifestyle. Just grab and go. That's the great thing about burrito those kebabs. And here's another thing, you don't want to have this for dinner, you can also just remake this mm -hmm. for dinner or this for lunch. Entirely up to yep. you. It's just, just be creative. These are your three meals. For snacks, it really is up to you. I'm not going to say it, but what I would recommend is getting either two rounds of protein shakes. The other option is you can also add peanut butter, like a nice big tablespoon and just lick it as your snack. Really, there's nothing wrong. I love peanut butter. <laughs> Any kind of nut butter. The ratio I give for lean bulking is about 40, 35, 25. And if you follow that, I will always say make your protein higher um, if you want to do lean bulking because the carbs is really whether your body has earned the carbs because if you have achieved a certain amount of leanness, then go ahead and more carbs. Okay, now we're done with this. Make mm -hmm. sure you go and find Joanna on her channel because you'll be finding the recipe for Monday to Wednesday. And this is for Thursday to Saturday. So you will have one full week of meal prep. Okay, I think it is time for us to close up or eat. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to Lenora's channel and also my channel. And do let us know in the comments below if you want more videos from both of us. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if you think Joanna did a fantastic job in rapping, please give this video a thumbs up because she did good. Especially, where's, your, where's the thick one? I don't know. I think, I think it's, it's this, this one. That one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. And I have to say this: may the gains be forever in your favor. That that. Hugs. <laughs>